Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of MLK FBI. MLK FBI is a 2020 American documentary that follows the FBI under J. Edgar Hoover as they employed tactics to follow Martin Luther King Jr. throughout the 60s. This is my latest review from the 2020 Denver Film Festival and one of the special presentations of this year's lineup. And one I knew nearly nothing about other than the fact that it was a documentary telling of the relationship between the FBI and Martin Luther King Jr. And it turned out to be quite the stellar documentary. So let's go ahead and talk about the positives first. Well, first and foremost, I think that this is a pretty hard hitting documentary on both sides. It doesn't really sugarcoat anything, whether it comes to what the FBI was doing or the aspects to MLK Jr.'s life that the FBI was investigating what they were digging up and what they were releasing to the public. At this point, it is pretty common knowledge that Martin Luther King Jr. had some extramarital affairs and the FBI utilized those to try and tarnish his name. However, the tactics that they utilized, the time frame that it happened, and a lot of the motivations stemming from Hoover himself were explored in a lot greater depth and details as we were able to see these new released documents. And I thought it was really a fascinating look, particularly at the FBI as it was explored. I really enjoyed a lot of the commentators that we did get in this film, ranging from those who worked with Martin himself to scholars of current day to FBI agents of past. Well, we had some really great discussion on race, particularly, obviously, as well as the FBI and some historical context, because the current day lens views both Martin Luther King Jr. and J. Edgar Hoover in much different lights than they were seen back when this was unfolding in real time. And also, I learned that later this decade, 2027, these tapes will be able to be released to the public. And it really brought up an interesting question to those that were discussing what happened between the FBI and their immoral practices to gain dirt on Martin Luther King Jr. And if those tapes even need to see the light of day, if they are going to change anything, and if it's really warranted to release them at all. Overall, I just think it was a really fascinating look at the scenario, at where our government was and how that was ever changing, all under the supervision of Hoover and his self-appointed G-men. The film was also gorgeous, utilizing these real life clips. And what I really enjoyed is that during the film itself, we never cut away, so we don't get the talking heads. They're more narrating as we watch and view the historical footage of mostly Martin Luther King Jr., but also of various presidents or J. Edgar Hoover. But just the look and the format of how this is presented is beautifully handled. So then, what doesn't quite work so well when it comes to MLK FBI? Well, while I do think I learned more detail behind what happened, and I think it brings up some interesting discussion points, overall, the basis of what we're presented here is somewhat common knowledge at this point. I knew most of the big points here and what took place. So I appreciated the more nuanced details of the information. However, I didn't really find any bombshell moment in the film itself. Also, there was a commentator in here that I appreciated a little bit more even keel of an approach, but at times I also found some of her commentary to be just a bit out of step in what we were discussing and the tone in which we were discussing it, if I'm being honest. 
But overall, I really enjoyed MLK FBI. Although I knew the big points, I was still really enthralled and fascinated watching this film, getting the nuanced details, and listening and thinking about these discussions that were presented. So I definitely would recommend this film to anyone who likes history documentaries, who is into documentaries at all. And honestly, I would say just about anyone across the board as we discuss some really, really relevant topics when it comes to racial injustices and how the government responds to social movements, particularly when it comes to the Black community. And a nice reminder of what our country was going through and how black people still had to fight our government as they were fighting for basic human rights in this very lifetime, just the 1960s. So that is my review of MLK FBI. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on my latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see MLK FBI? And what is your favorite documentary about Martin Luther King Jr.? Let me know either in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your continued support. Mwah! Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!